All right. Sorry if the video quality sucks. Um, I'm filming this behind this real quick. Uh, I filmed this video to post online. I was gonna try and post it off my computer to see if it would be better. And it was taking hours and hours just to load 5%. So I tried to share my video to my phone and it won't let me. So I'm gonna have to film it like this and hold it while this video plays. Sorry guys, my next fax videos I will do on my phone right away. This is a quick disclaimer. This is not a treatment video. Please do not take and use the treatment that I've told you what to do in this video on your horse. If you do, whatever outcome is your fault, not mine. So just remember that. Please do not use this as a treatment video. If your horse has these symptoms, get them to the vet. Okay? All right, let's get this started. If I can get it to play. I will not do this again. Okay, this might be a little grainy. I'm trying to film it on my laptop. Um, I want to see if I upload my videos on my laptop if it will allow the comments. If not, you can refer back to my um, last video, A Day in My Life. Um, for the links to my Instagram and Facebook if you have a video suggestion or request or a question. Um, even just to say hi. So... Let's see what I had. Okay, um, not sure what pack I wanted to start with. Okay, I'm gonna pin. I wasn't prepared for this. Sorry, gotta close you guys for a second. Grab a pin back here. Okay, so today's fact of the week. I'm gonna speak a little louder just in case you guys can't hear me, and hopefully it'll let me edit this. If not, there won't be an intro to this or an outro. Um, hopefully it's not as grainy on YouTube. Oh, it is. Okay, so, man. Okay, I'm trying not to go off topic. I always go off topic. Don't go off topic. Okay, facts about founder. So this week is gonna be about founder. Now. Before I get into this video, disclaimer, um, if my pen will work, I didn't get obviously every single fact because that would be plagiarism, plagiarizing, um, which is where you go on a website and you pretty much just, or a textbook or a book, and you just jot down every single thing that is written. So there's not, not all the facts are here. I got facts off different sites. I didn't quote the sites because uh, it's just a couple of things. And so I have, if it's common or not, if it's fatal or not, symptom, some symptoms, um, how to avoid it. Um, and then there's one more. There should be one more. Oh, I guess that's it. So, um... Founder, let's talk about if it's common. So, found, I'm going to be reading it off the paper because I did this like a week ago. So, founder is common and very painful. It affects the feet or the hooves of the horse. It occurs when there is an inflammation of the lamin, a.k.a. the folds of tissue connecting of the pedal bone to the hoof. I think I said that right. So, um... That's our fact number one. It's extremely painful and it's inflammation or infection. I want to stop it right there. I just realized that uh, it's not infection. It's just the inflammation. And it goes down into the feet, the hooves. So it, founder can be fatal. Um, if you don't know what fatal means, it can cause death. So it can be fatal in horses and it cannot be cured but it can be managed, and I actually know a few people who have their horses who have founders. So some symptoms um, for founder is a hoof that's hot for hours. So for instance, if you go out right now on a very healthy horse that you may have on your property or out on your barn, and you pick up their hoof and feel it, it shouldn't feel like there's a ton of heat there. If you go out there and feel that hoof and there's a lot of heat, and maybe you wait an hour or two, you go back out and there's a lot of heat again you may call the vet and tell them you're concerned that your horse may have founder there's a lot of heat in the hoof and ask your vet what to do from there and um also an unusual hoof shape or an unusual ring on the hoof is a symptom of founder so 
Um, I know the YouTuber's name that did a video on this, and I can't remember her name. I think it was versatile horsemanship. It may not have been. But she showed a horse that had a club hoof, and it had a ring across the top of the hoof, and she explained that that was founder. So any unusual rings, um, dark rings, light rings, doesn't matter, uh, any unusual shape in your horse's hoof, that is founder. Or it could be founder. There's obviously a lot of things it could be, but it could be founder. Sorry if this video seems kind of whack. I just, I'm not one of those people that can plan ahead. Anyways. Um, too little or too much foot lifting is the symptom. So if your horse is like a normal horse, super quiet, standing out in the pasture, only lifts their feet to move or to shift their weight, and they're standing out there holding up their leg or moving their foot, setting it down, moving it again, setting it down, lifting it and holding it all on its own those types of things could be a symptom of founder and a shortened stride is also considered to be a symptom of founder so if your horse is normally really open really wide and they're starting to kind of collect themselves back without you asking maybe you're not training them to do that uh i would contact a vet so let's talk about medications so medications um it didn't really, on the site that I was on, say which medication you could use um, and what the vet would diagnose. Um, and even if it did, I really wouldn't put that into this video because somebody might think of this video as a treatment. Um, this is not a treatment video. This is just some facts about Founder. So even if I had found the name of the medication, I would not import that into this video. Because I don't want somebody to look at this video, oh, these are the symptoms, these are the facts, these are if it's painful or fatal, and that's the medication I need to use. Okay, I'm going to do that instead of contacting my vet. No, if, you have, if your horse has these symptoms or these issues, please don't use this video as a reference to treat your horse. Contact your vet. Just saying. So, but it, medications can be given to deal with the pain of founder. And how to avoid grass founder is you keep your easy keepers, so the horses that, you know, you throw a flake, a hay, and they gain 20 pounds off of it. <laughs> That's obviously exaggerating. Um, those are your easy keepers. Your hard keepers are the ones that you feed the normal amount, and all the horses, other horses are fat, and this horse is still skinny. So those are your hard keepers. So you keep your easy keepers off a lush pasture, so freshly grown grass, grown pastures, and you keep your easy keepers off lush, fast-growing pastures until the grass has slowed in growth and produce seed heads. So in other words, when the grass isn't growing anymore, maybe it's starting to die a little bit, then you can kind of turn those easy keepers out on that field. Um, if it's, you know, the beginning of spring, the beginning of summer, and the grass is growing and it's really fresh green grass, I wouldn't be turning my easy keepers out there. Um, Cause I don't remember the term for it, um, but a friend of mine has a horse and I think it's called a crested neck or a crusty neck and this horse is a- I just want to say I'm sorry about the quality you guys. I tried and tried and tried to get this video on my phone so it wouldn't be as grainy and it just didn't work out. So next time I will know better. I'm really sorry about the quality of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the day in my life video. The dog's bathing routine will be coming soon. Uh, just trying to get everything done, and I'm home by myself with all the animals for the next couple of days, so just a lot going on. Mass, of course, it's massive in size. It has a ton of muscle, but you can just tell there's something off about the neck. So I wish I had a picture to show you, but I don't. But his neck is, like, freaking this wide on the camera. It doesn't look that big, but whatever. And then you have another inch or two that's this thick on top of it. And when you touch it, part of it's hard, and part of it's soft. And that horse has been diagnosed with founder. So that horse is on pain medication, stays off the pasture until it's a, until the grass isn't as, I think they called it sugared. So it's not as fresh, so there's not as much sugar in it. Um, so that horse is on medication and getting treatment. And I believe, depending on the horse, they can still be rideable. Some cases are so bad you probably shouldn't ride until they're getting better. But, um, so if your horse has a thick crested neck or there's disformation in the hoof, 
that's a word. <laughs> um, and there's lines across the hoof and they're acting painful, they're shortening their stride, they're lifting their leg or they're keeping it down too long, their hoof is hot. Those are all symptoms of founder and I would definitely contact your vet about that. So that is this week's fact of the week. Um, if you can't comment, you're welcome to go on my Instagram or my Facebook. Like I said, refer back to the previous video, A Day in My Life, to get those links because I accidentally deleted them. Uh, the other facts that I have down is Cushing's Rain Rot. And what are the chestnuts? Um, yeah, what are the chestnuts on a horse's leg for? And why are they there? And should we be trimming them or not? So if you have any other ideas that you want me to do a video on um the others i have some more facts on but like i said i try to keep medications out of it because i don't want it to be a treatment video i don't want this to be used like that i think on one of the other ones i think cushing's i do have one of the medications on there but i will put a disclaimer on that so if you guys have any other ideas it can be training it can be diseases it can be health issues it can be Anything related on how to cut a hoof, um, I don't really know about that that much, but internet and facts. <laughs> so I'm going to stop rambling because I tend to do that. So if you guys have any uh, video ideas and you aren't able to comment, again, my Instagram and my Facebook are linked in the previous video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so terribly sorry if it actually stays grainy like this. Um, and let me know if you like it better on my phone or on my laptop. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day.